What's up everybody? It's VR Gamer Dude here, and today we are going to be doing something pretty damn cool on the channel. We are going to be taking a look at the 3D Rudder foot controller. Now, I want to thank those guys for sending this over my way to play with. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, unboxing, and then we're going to set it up, and then we're going to test it out in a few games. And I know what you guys are seeing on the screen looks really weird. No, the box is not translucent. Um, it is green, and uh, against my chroma key background here, it is completely trippy. So, loving that. Thought I'd go with it. Let's see what's in it. Okay, so we're going to tear into the box, but before we do, I wanted to mention, man, it's got some weight to it. Uh, it really feels like there's something substantial inside this box. So, all right, let's go ahead and get the plastic ripped off here and see what's inside. All right, there we go. Yes, plastic has come off. All right, so the box itself has a couple of uh, tape tabs here as well. So let's go ahead and get those off and see how it opens up. I think the green part just slides off here, and it does. There we go. All right, so first and foremost here, looks like we've got the uh, getting started so we're gonna have to go to the website and we will do that post haste so let's go ahead and remove the outer foam here nice foam hard foam protecting the unit so very very cool there all right and what we came to see the 3d rudder device and man, let me tell you, that thing feels substantial. Uh, lots of weight to it, feels really, really nice. Um, yeah, so, now this one is USB. Um, they, I believe, do have a wireless version um, in the works uh, currently. But we're gonna go ahead and get this set up and take a look. Okay, so now that we've got it unboxed, let's get it set up. Now, the first thing it said to do on the getting started card was go to www.3drudder.com slash start, and that gets us to this page right here. Now, it looks to be a simple four-step process. We're going to download the dashboard, plug in the unit, sit down, get it set where we wanted, and uh, start playing. So, all right, let's go ahead and download the dashboard and see what that does go ahead and accept the warning and there we go now let's go ahead and get the software installed and there we have it and get a couple of redistributables and successful and finish and we'll go ahead and start the dashboard here all right welcome and thank you for purchasing a 3d rudder uh, so that you can fully enjoy the latest features we are now going to update your 3d rudder with the latest firmware okay let's go ahead and plug it in see what happens It made a beep and looks like we are now um, updating I got three beeps there and it says it has completed the setup and now I got a long beep so don't know what all the beeps mean but we'll click next and see what happens all right so there is the dashboard and uh, just found the 3d rudder and it's downloading an update and there we go. So do not put our feet on it. All right, and I think it's done now. Yeah, it's in there, maybe. Okay, so looks like here in the dashboard we've got a couple of different things here. We've got the home screen, which has our tutorials and our demo um, airboard arena. 
Um, looks like uh, games here. So we've got a bunch of games that already have auto configurations for them. Um, and uh, then we've got our joystick mode here where we can map it as a joystick or a HOTAS. Lots of different adjustments. Uh, your mouse mode, keyboard mode, and VR Unleashed for the HTC Vive. Uh, so unfortunately no Rift mode, but that's all right. We'll, we'll deal with that. But yeah, so very cool here. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, get it calibrated and check it out in a few games. Okay, so here we go. Let's put one foot on the device. And, oh, there we go. It's tilting. Put a second foot on there and stay still. All right, so now we go forward, we go back, we go left, we go right. Ah, you can turn it as well. Ah, very cool. So, um, that's going to be a little more difficult. Um, okay, so I don't get what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, there we go. Aha, and congratulations! we have completed the tutorial okay so that was the tutorial and you know that definitely got my feet wet pun completely intended um, so now I want to see how this thing performs in game so for the first test we're gonna go ahead and just go with 3d rudders demo airboard arena since it was tailor-made for the thing and uh, check that out in the oculus rift so let's go okay so here we go let's get started put one foot on the controller put my second foot down stay still and look in front of me Okay, so there's our representative controller in front of us, and it looks like it wants us to go forward, so let's go. Whoa, it kind of feels strange. Okay, backwards. There we go. Now sideways. So yeah, it feels kind of like you're gliding. I mean, it's, it's kind of an interesting sensation. I don't know if that's because my hands are free or... Okay. I will say though, I can see where this would be very productive. I mean, if I was having to work with a mouse and a keyboard. So... Right, let's see if I can make the course here. Definitely takes some getting used to, though. We gotta speed up. Ah. Wait. Not that way? Did I get lost? Okay, so their demo looked pretty neat, but we want to see how this thing performs in games. So I have brought the unit downstairs to the living room, wanted to try it on some hardwood floors here, and awesome, during the install downstairs, looks like there's been an update. So now I'm seeing VR Unleashed for the Oculus Rift. So fantastic news right before we're going to try it with an Oculus Rift. So, all right, let's go ahead and let's jump into some air cars. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the 3D rudder for a spin, see how she flies an air car here. So, all right, definitely already working, got some control here, and man, let me tell you, that feels really interesting, being able to control this with just my feet. Um, well, I say just my feet, I still gotta use the uh, touch controllers for the throttle here, but, Let's go ahead and do a little turn, and we'll turn there, and let's go ahead and do a little roll here, 
nice, very smooth, nice roll. Let's go ahead and roll it back the other direction. Let's turn out, let's go into a dive. Whoa. So it's definitely responsive, but man, you're really going to need to get used to doing this. Now, I can tell you just flying around this map like this, totally want to check this out in Unreal Engine or uh, Unity. I can see where this would be really, really good uh, for productivity purposes as well. Let's go ahead and get out of this trench here. And then I'm um, also assistive, uh, you know, I mean, anybody with a disability could definitely make use of one of these controllers in a seated VR game or, well, practically in any other game. I mean, the games list in this thing is about a mile long as far as all the games that it's pre-configured for, so it is not necessarily just a VR peripheral. But, man, I'm starting to like it, I'm not gonna lie. This feels really cool. I can't wait to get this integrated into Battle Chair permanently upstairs and start using it in games like Elite Dangerous and E Valkyrie and, you know, so much potential. So, I think we're going to go ahead and cap it here, but as we fly around, you know, a few final thoughts. I mean, definitely, you know, it is a niche market. Um, I, uh, with most VR going into, uh, you know, room scale and things like that. We don't see a lot of seated titles anymore, but if you're a simmer, I mean, if you're into flight simming or, you know, space sims like Elite Dangerous, I could totally see where this would make a nice addition to your setup. If you do any productivity, if you need anything for a disability, once again, I think this would make a fantastic addition to your controllers. So I'm going to throw a link for the 3D rudder in the description. That way, if you want, you can go grab one for yourself. But for me, guys, that's going to do it. This is VR Gamer Dude, signing off. Peace.